Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. In today's video we're gonna analyze everything and also I want to show you a very interesting chart at the end of this video that is showing that Bitcoin could reach even $558,000 before entering again in a bear market. So since I have some more bearish news here for the short to midterm for the Bitcoin price, I want to bring you also that very bullish chart at the end of this video. So that's why I make sure that you watch this video till the end, my friends. And now we're gonna start straight into the content. So here you can see the four hour time frame. And as you can see yesterday, we got rejected here very close to our resistance at around $35,000. And currently we're closing four hour candles below the 20 and 200 moving average right here, $33,000. So in the four hour time frame, it looks like that we are re-entering here in a potential downtrend towards our main support here of around $28,000. So watch out for this support if we continue to get rejected here and head lower because currently the RSI is trading below the 50 level. So I think as long as we're closing four hour candles, below 32,500, we should be gearing towards this 30,000, maybe even down towards $28,000 before we gear up here for another big move to the upside. And also in my own indicator yesterday, we had a very great sell signal here with the three hour and one hour time frame. So if you shorted this, then congratulations. If you're interested in my own indicator, you can contact me over on Discord. You find the Discord link to our free crypto trading chat down below here in the video description. So if you shorted this, congratulations, but I definitely wouldn't recommend right now to short Bitcoin because in the bigger outlook, of course, we are still in a bull market and we should see prices way above 40K right now. So that's why be very careful if you're shorting right now, only do very short-lived trades, better look for good long opportunities because for the long term, you will be doing way better than shorting right now. So currently here in the four hour time frame, I'm expecting to get again rejected here, unless of course we're starting again to close four hour candles above $32,500. Then of course we could be gearing up again for a retest of this resistance that we have currently at around $36,000. If we have a look into the Bollinger Bands, you can see that also here we're trading on the bearish side. So also here, if we cannot close again for our candles above the middle line here, then we should expect continuation to the downside a possible push here towards the main resistance could happen because of the stochastic which is oversold right now and here we could see a bullish cross but for now it looks like that we most likely will continue to go lower here and if we go over into the daily time frame you can see that yesterday we had a big week to the upside. We didn't close the daily candle above the nine daily moving average. As you can see, it is still red. So that means we are still in a downtrend here in the daily time frame, and we should expect the price to move here between the nine daily moving average currently at $33,400 and down here, the 50 daily moving average currently at our main support down here at around $29,000. Also right now we are trading below the 50 level in the RSI. So that is what is concerning me a little bit here that we could see here continuation to the downside and maybe create this potential falling wedge here, which of course is a bullish pattern, but that would mean that we will start to trade sideways here and potentially go lower and lower towards $27,000 and then have a big bounce here to the upside with a big breakout. So the daily time frame, in my opinion, my friends looks a bit bearish, at least for the short to mid that means that we most likely here in the Bitcoin price gonna stay within the support and resistance of this potential falling wedge before we're gonna see another big move to the upside or to the downside. I still think we could maybe even get here a fake out to the downside potentially towards 24 or 20K and then come back up again and then move towards higher levels. But watch out that if this $27,000 support that we currently have down here will be strong enough that the Bitcoin price will not fall lower, that here we already could bottom out and have a big break out to the upside because as soon as here the nine daily moving average is turning again into green and we are getting again supported by it 
and also have a confirmed breakout here to the upside from this falling wedge then i think we will return to our big bull trend and we will most likely take out the all-time high here at forty-two thousand dollar pretty fast so watch out my friends if you're waiting with some cash on the sideline that if we're gonna see here a breakout to the upside from this falling wedge that this could be the signal that we will not head lower and we're gonna continue our bull trend towards new all-time highs so the daily time frame at the moment looks like that we will go lower and if we go over into the weekly time frame you can see again here that the nine weekly moving average is right here within this falling wedge at $29,000 and the 20 weekly is down here at $20,600 so this is the worst case scenario my friends if we lose here the support that we have of this falling wedge then watch out for the 20 weekly moving average I don't think that Bitcoin will go lower than that because usually in the past during a bull run we only came down to test a 20 weekly moving average especially when we got here a sell signal in the weekly and then geared up again for a big move to the upside so for the next couple of hours and days i'm expecting to stay within this falling wedge until we're gonna see then a breakout to the downside or to the upside if we see maybe a fake out or just a short-lived breakout to the downside watch out for 20,000 scaling some nice longs and buy as much bitcoin as possible at these levels because i don't think we will go lower and also i don't think that we will stay for a very long time down in this region because there's a lot of people that wants to buy at those prices so if we're gonna drop here i'm expecting a fast recovery back up and then potentially go straight here towards 40k and higher and the reason why we could see such a correction is not of course only because that bitcoin is still very overbought in the bigger time frames and we could see a healthy correction but also if we go over into the dxy let's go into the daily time frame you can see that currently we're breaking out from this descending broadening wedge you can see it better if we go over into the four hour time frame currently we're closing candles again above all moving averages and if the dxy is able to go higher so towards the 100 or 200 moving average where previously we had a lot of support and now we could face some huge resistance up here if the DXY is able to push so hard to the upside then of course this could lead in that correction at least in a short-lived correction in the Bitcoin price and you can also see that currently the Bitcoin dominance is having a bounce here I'm expecting this bounce to continue at least towards a nine daily moving average at 65% maybe even go higher here towards 67% and then we're gonna drop again in the Bitcoin dominance so that means that maybe in the next couple of days we will see some altcoins bleeding because if the dominance is rising up here a lot of money will float from altcoins back into Bitcoin and maybe also some traders will take out some profits into fiat as well so if the bitcoin dominance is rising up here again towards the 65 to 67 percent i'm expecting some of the altcoins to drop a lot but this is only for the short to mid term because i'm expecting here also to get rejected and we could even potentially stay within resistance and support here before then we're gonna see another big breakout to the upside or to the downside so the bitcoin dominance is going to be very important for the next couple of days and weeks for the altcoins we could maybe even create here a head and shoulders pattern left shoulder head and then here a right shoulder and if we're gonna see then a breakout to the downside that could result in a huge big altcoin season my friends but for now i'm expecting here the dominance to rise up again although you can see in my own indicator that we could get a buy signal pretty soon and that of course could lead into a bigger pump towards 65 to 67 percent then maybe here top out and then come back down again to potentially break out here to the downside and then we will see a huge altcoin season my friends because then all these top coiners especially the ones that currently are performing very nicely like alpha ethereum and so on will perform even better than bitcoin and like this you can do really huge gains just by buying altcoins and then flipping back into bitcoin if we're gonna see here a breakout to the downside from the 60 percent dominance so this is a possible scenario that we could see here in the next couple of days and that's why we also have to keep a very close eye into some altcoins because if the dominance is breaking down then we could see here a huge altcoin season and what we have seen so far is still nothing because keep in mind that in ethereum we are still only at the old all-time high so here we still have a lot of fuel left to the upside and currently we are forming a potential bull flag here so as long as we're staying in this range here in ethereum between 1100 
and the resistance up here of 1500 we could start to trade sideways here but we could create this potential bull flag which will take us straight towards 2k and higher so we have to keep a very close eye here also into these altcoins because like this we can also multiply our bitcoin portfolio by just buying some altcoins and then flipping back into bitcoin if we see a big crash in the bitcoin dominance but for now i'm expecting of course the bitcoin dominance to rise up a little bit and then we will see if we're getting rejected at 65 to 67%. Then I think it is good to buy some altcoins to then later on flip back into Bitcoin. And keep in mind that those kind of trades where you can buy easily all kind of altcoins that you want and then flip back into Bitcoin. You can do this at the best at Binance. So make sure that you have a Binance account. You find my sign up link down below here because on Binance you can buy all the altcoins that you want. And also when you're keeping them in this exchange change you will get daily interest so it is very clever to keep some of the alts ready there to flip back into bitcoin because like that also the more days passes the more interest you will get and like this of course you also gain some passive money so make sure to open up also binance account with my link down below here so on ethereum currently i'm expecting here also to trade a bit sideways maybe also come down here to retest this region down here at the 200 moving average in the four hour currently at around 1100 dollar also here we got the sell signal that's why i think it is very likely that we will come down to test here this 1100 dollar region and there we should expect a bounce again to the upside only if we are starting to close four hour candles below the 200 moving average and below the support here then i think we could be in a major correction which will take us at least down towards 780 dollars and then of course potentially also lower because the next target is down here at around 600 this was previously a very strong resistance and now it should be acting as a strong support so it is possible that we're coming down to test this region down here if bitcoin is also gonna take a big dive towards 20k but so far it looks like that we're just going to trade sideways here and that of course is always good for the altcoins but let's wait and see also what the bitcoin dominance is doing because if here we're going to see a pump then we could see maybe the bitcoin price also rise up a little bit so at the end the show is again in the bitcoin price my friends we have to wait and see what will happen here in the next couple of days and weeks because a breakout here to the upside or to the downside will lead into a big move and that will also decide what the altcoins are going to do and now my friends i want to show you one of the most bullish charts out there and it is actually a very simple chart because in this chart here you can see what would happen if we're gonna repeat exactly the same cycle from the last halving in 2016 till the halving that we had recently in 2020 so if we're going to repeat exactly the same cycle with exactly the same performance, this will bring us to a blow off top of over $500,000 per Bitcoin. So if we would completely repeat history, my friends, from the old halving in 2016 until the halving of 2020, we could see a blow off top here towards October of this year of around $559,000 per Bitcoin. This is really amazing, my friends. And I know this is a very moon boyish chart, but just think about even if we would just perform form half as we did in the last cycle this would also bring a bitcoin price of around three hundred thousand dollar which in my opinion is more realistic so even if we would just perform half as good as the last cycle we would go at least towards three hundred thousand dollar and because of all these new institutions that are joining the market and also with the better fundamentals and mass adoption that we have compared to 2016 and 17 i think even this price level up here at five hundred fifty nine thousand dollars is still likely my friends even though i think more realistic is 300,000 but even this price wouldn't be too far fetched and the interesting thing about this chart is that if we zoom in in the price action that we are seeing right now you can see that we are more or less exactly at the price prediction so if we would completely repeat the last cycle we would be more or less at the same stage where we are right now so you can see that this price model was predicting forty thousand dollar then here a correction down towards twenty seven thousand dollar which in my opinion we could also see here in the next couple of days and weeks and then continue to go higher and higher maybe top out again here at $85,000 then have another crash towards 
$50,000 and then continue our way to the upside and at the end we most likely gonna top out here at $550,000 so that of course would be very amazing to see Bitcoin going so high then maybe start another bear market same like we had after 2017 and then in the next cycle top out again at $1,170,000 so that the bear market will look the same like in 2018 and 19 I don't think it is very likely especially also because of this corona dump that we had here in 2020 but if we're gonna at least perform half as good as in the last cycle a $300,000 Bitcoin is very very likely my friend so if we would perform at least half as good as the last time we would go at least towards $300,000 and I think this is the most bullish chart out there at the moment my friend so that's why I wanted to share it with you so you once again also understand why at the end it doesn't matter if you're buying right now at $32,000 or at 20k because at the end Bitcoin will go anyway way above $100,000 and those prices that we are seeing right now you will most likely never see again not even in the next bear market. So with those words my friends I'm gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you want you can also join me over on discord we have a very great crypto family shout out to all the people in our great crypto trading chat and also make sure to use all the links down below here especially if you're new in the crypto space because with my sign up links to those recommended exchanges will give you extra money so you can buy even more Bitcoin and currently we still have a lot of slots free here for coinbase earn so if you're using coinbase claim these free cryptos that you can get here with my invitation links so thank you again very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye